What is up guys, it is CFL Mods Gaming, and I'm coming at you today with a product review of Impow's EG3 gaming headphones. These are available on Amazon right now on sale at the link below for just $19.99. So make sure to check these out and consider purchasing via the link below. It helps support the channel as well as Impow, and we thank them for sponsoring this video and sending these headphones over. We'll go ahead and get these taken out and take a look. So there is a specific driver and utility that you can use to set up and control the headphones uh, that is listed on the instructions, so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll jump over to the test of the actual headphones. So real quick before I jump into testing these, just wanted to point out that this has a braided cable, so it's the kind that doesn't really get tangled up. It's of course USB and it is USB 2.0. Um, a couple other features that are important to me is on the top of headphones, if you have automatic adjustments like this, or if it's the ones that click, um, those never seem to really fit me perfectly. I really like uh, this kind of style where it just kind of floats on top of your head. I'll give you guys an example of that. And you can see my other uh, headphone review video here where I talk about that a little bit more in depth, but uh, ultimately it just provides for a more comfortable fit and it just fits you as soon as you put it on. You just pull it onto your ears and it's in the right spot. And then the other thing is that this mic is pretty flexible and it kind of stays where you put it. So one of the things I notice on my, my everyday driver, these uh, Turtle Beaches, is that when I put the mic somewhere, it kind of flips back. Well, it actually flips back quite a bit. So I have to really over extend where I want it to kind of even be in that general direction and it will switch back to to that point but this is actually a, a lot more um, I guess flexible and so it goes really where you're wanting it to to be which is nice if you want to have it be lower or or whatnot depending on if you're getting any popping it does come with a uh, pop filter which is nice as well uh, all right so I'll listen to some music here and then I'll jump over to do a mic test so that you guys can hear how these will sound to other people. All right, so as far as just my opinions listening to it for a moment, uh, it doesn't have deep bass until you get into louder volumes and then it does start to pick up on the bass level a little bit. This is default EQ of course and there is the, uh, the uh, I guess I would say add-on or addition to the driver that allows you to set EQ and make some other changes to the virtual surround sound. So I don't want to say that it doesn't have good bass but at its default, especially if you're playing with this on a PS4 where you won't be able to install the, uh, the additional um, driver package and and uh, app there to make those modifications, then you're going to be playing with default EQ, and I will say that. Uh, one of the things I noticed is there's a, this volume control on the headphones themselves as well as the volume control on the, the output device, and when this is real low, like very, very low, uh, the left headphone will still be making sound but the right headphone will cut out earlier before I hit zero. I'd say probably like the three to five range out of a hundred. Um, now you probably wouldn't be there very often, but it was just one thing that I noticed real quickly as I was uh, scrolling the volume up and down. Uh, other than that, I'll go ahead and jump over to the mic test and let you guys hear what these sound like from other people's perspective. So this is stated to be a sound cancelling omnidirectional microphone, and looking at my levels on my recording, it does seem to be that when I take a break from speaking, there doesn't seem to be any uh, sound floor to it at all. It seems to be dropping down to zero. So I'm not sure uh, what exactly they're using for that or uh, how great that will work. I have some background sounds coming uh, from that direction as well, so we'll see if those show up on the recording. But aside from that, these actually seem uh, like they are canceling well. I will listen to this at the same time that you guys do, as far as what this recording is sound like of the audio quality. So that will be an impartial review on my part. I'll let you guys decide what you think of this. This is coming, of course, from the headphone mic and not from my microphone at this time. Um, I think I've covered everything that 
really this the main points that this hits for me. Uh, it's a solid mic as far as its functionality use on my side. Uh, again, the actual quality of the mic is is there for you guys to hear. Um, it mentions that it has a 7.2 foot cord, which is something that I have run into in the past with shorter cords when I'm trying to play on a system like an Xbox with my Turtle Beaches and the cord is too short. Or I really, I should say, um, when I'm trying to play on systems like I would with my Turtle Beaches. My Turtle Beaches were probably the first headphones I had that solved that problem by having a long cord. Um, if you're too far away from the system or if you want to just turn around in your chair, which is something that I find myself doing a lot, and you'll end up pulling the headphones out of the console. So if you're playing with PS PS4, then 7.2 foot uh, length on the cable there. Uh, 7.1 surround sound, as I mentioned, that is editable via the utility that they provide via their website. And uh, for 20 bucks, I'd say it's worth checking out if you guys don't already have a pair of gaming headphones. Link is in the description. And thank you again to Impal for sending these over and sponsoring this video. This has been CFO Mods Gaming. Out.